copper. Copper is one of the most abundant element on earth and the third most used metal. It is used on wires, pipes, coins, cookwares, water bottle, faucet, and doors. But, did you know? Copper and its alloys, such as brass and bronze, are natural antimicrobial materials. Since 2600 BC, the ancient Egyptians have used copper in sterilizing wounds and drinking water. But by the turn of the 19th century, a new awareness of copper's medical potency has spawned. In 1852, Victor Burke observed that copper workers appeared to be immune to cholera in the 1832 epidemic in Paris, France. By 1893, it was discovered that metal ions, such as copper and silver, have had toxic effect on living cells, algae, molds, spores, fungi, viruses, and bacteria. Since then, the use of copper as an antimicrobial agent continued until the advent of commercially available antibiotics. But the spread of antibiotic-resistant bacteria has raised the need for different approaches to keep pathogenic microorganisms at bay. One such alternative is the use of copper in hygiene-sensitive areas. Studies have shown that copper alloy surfaces have intrinsic properties to destroy a wide range of microorganisms. Amongst them are, equally, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, influenza A virus, and adenoviruses. But, how does it work? When microorganisms come into contact with a copper surface, the microorganisms absorb copper ions thereby causing cellular damage. The cell membrane, then, ruptures leading to loss of cytoplasmic content. Also, copper complexes could form radicals that inactivate viruses by degrading the DNA. However, for the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, 99.9% .9 reduction of bacterial contamination may only be achieved within two hours of exposure. Nevertheless, the use of copper alloy surfaces is not a substitute to infection control practices and may not prevent cross-contamination. Regardless, if used as intended, Copper alloy surfaces will remain effective as long as the product remains in place. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see more content from our channel.